homicide investigators were searching a wooded area of Niagara Falls today. They're calling an area where a woman's body was found last week, but aren't confirming that this has become a murder investigation. Al Sweeney has the story. Police vehicles lined Thundering Waters Boulevard in Niagara Falls today, including a forensics van and a command center, with officers going through the bushes. Neighbors say this has been going on for a week. There's been uh, police officers and forensic vehicles, uh, numerous, six to ten a day. And they've been here around the clock for over a week, lights on at night, uh, processing whatever's behind the, uh, the fences over there. The police search follows the report of a missing woman last Monday. 43-year-old Tonil Olivia Lepp hadn't been seen since the week before. Police described her as having a transient lifestyle. Then on Friday, police say a woman's body was found in the area. At last word, she hadn't been identified, and police are not saying she's the missing woman. There's no word on what they're searching for or how it's connected to the body found here. Neighbors are wondering what's going on. Obviously, the neighborhood's getting curious at this point because it's, you know, what, what, what requires a presence of this size for this length of time. Neighbors say homeless people follow these tracks to reach a tent encampment in the area where the search is taking place. They say they've notified police and Hydro about camps in the area. Well, uh, it's crazy. I Like me and a couple other neighbors, we've been calling for months and months telling them about the, the community back there and they, uh, they didn't do nothing about it. They say there have been 25 or more people living in a village in the woods. They had tents set up, they had structures built out of wood, tarps over everything, then a little further down there's more tents and structures built, and they had like these little wood shrine things built and all twined together. Police are only saying that they're still searching for a missing woman, and due to the circumstances, the investigation has been taken over by the homicide unit. They turned down several requests for an interview today. Al Sweeney, CHCH News, Niagara Falls.